Hey guys, I'm McCall here. Too much of the Expanse Season 5, Episode 3. I absolutely love the last episode, the churn episode, seeing just tons of Amos' backstory. Absolutely loved it. Um, I think this episode we're probably going to go see him meet Clarissa Mao, who someone in the comments told me her name. I I, uh, for some reason, I had it in my head, I thought it's either like Melissa or Marissa or something like that, but no, yeah, it's Clarissa Mao. I, that's my top guess on who he's going to go see. Can't think of anyone else we'd go see, really. We didn't really see Naomi in the last episode. In fact, I don't think we saw her at all, apart from like a picture on like a hollow desk. So I'm guessing we might see her again in this episode, sort of carry on her storyline, see what's going on with that. So I'm just going to dive in now. Oh shit, is this the... yeah, the asteroids. They're getting close. Time to... 22 hours, oh no. Could be this episode, maybe. If this episode ends with some crazy cliffhanger, I'm gonna have to watch the next one. I'm gonna have to. So the Martian drinks his Earther tequila. So Excuse now... Sorry to interrupt. Well, stop interrupting the joke. Way. I wanna hear the joke. So I've heard. My office said the Navy needed help with an urgent matter. Oh, so they're bringing him in to investigate. What do you make of these readings? They're onto it at least. Maybe they don't stop them all, but they manage to stop it enough to stop it destroying Earth. That's weird. Oh shit, he's figuring it out. All these rocks have consistently higher return signatures on the blast would be about one to four megatons. Ooh. Jesus, that's like that's a lot. Also, am I wrong? The asteroids do have stealth tech on them, right? Or did I just... I thought I saw, like, it ripple over in the season 4 finale. But it's not been mentioned since, so I might be wrong. Could imply that the original rock was coated in stealth tech. Okay, never mind, yes. There we go. Mars does not give a fuck about blowing this up anymore. You need to make the case to the director of intelligence. Come on. We're right. And you know it. Mm-hmm. I have Astral's on Twitch, just hopefully they can get people to listen. It's gonna be terrible if like they don't listen to her, the asteroids hit her, if she loses her family, even though she saw it coming and she did everything she could but no one listened. Directed by Thomas Jane! Hey! Nice. Astrid's ship. I wonder did he, ma he now on his when Astrid died, it said message sent. I assumed he sent that to Drummer. Maybe he sent it to like his ship's computer, and they find it there. Oh, the airlock, they could have killed him in. She probably think if she'd killed him, the Ashford would still be alive. This was recorded on a series a few days ago. Oh! Shit. Oh, right through the hand, oh. Okay, scientists in the bottom of your. I was gonna say he looks like the guy who. Yes. For some reason, I thought he died, but no. It was the other guy who Miller killed on the station, not him. Yes. Corsa. Research facility and off of series by a belter. I completely forgot about him. Oh. <laughs> she looks happy to see him. I've never seen too much emotion from Naomi before. So she'll lead the conversation and won't suspect a thing when you ask a few questions about Cybertech. It's just she seems cool, you know. And Come on, Alex. Wanna, Don't be so naive. I give her the wrong impression about. You willingly walked into the unknown. Not a lot of people can say that. And you also saw some very weird shit. Yep, you yeah, did. did. The RCE reports are classified, and the belts are. Come on, Alex. So Don't get played. See that proto molecule? It was looking for something on that planet. Alex, don't go tell her everything. Come on now. Hey, if it wasn't for Miller, we'd all be dead on that rock. But Miller's the hero. We destroyed that last piece of protocol. Like how Thomas Jane directing has everyone talk about how Miller's a hero. <laughs> They're gonna remain in the There we go. Come on, is this gonna come up with a message from Astrid, please? No backup data call, no com buffer, no nothing. Nada. Oh what is it? Hydraulic fault in forward oh. in Yes, here we go. I thought she's gonna find the message here. Here we are. You do know Marco. Yes. Oh, she looks determined more than ever now. But he can be found. People are just yes. afraid to ask where. I'm all up for drummer hunting him down. 
The ghost knife himself. Yeah. But this is drummer. We do this, then we earn the last Shoot, Ashford almost got patches. Marco. It's just and he only Marco attacked the three people, and years. Philip came out from behind when so Ashford was the only one left. <laughs> I'm just all dead in here. Yep, shit. Sounds like you're more interested in him than me. Oh shit. Oh, no. Alex, don't overplay your hand. Where are you headed out? No, nowhere, just a routine supply run. Mm. The barkeep. Okay. Come on, come on, Alex, wise up. There we go. He's wise up there. Come on, Alex, don't fall for the holy trap. Stay strong. Don't get played. Oh, that, he seemed to wise up a bit towards the end there. And for he did tell. I don't think he told her anything that he really shouldn't have. Like, he said parts were classified, so he kept some stuff close to the chest. I feel like someone's about to grab him. Oh, no, never mind. George. Why, why? Shit. Yeah, never mind. People play sand, I feel like. Oh dear. <gasps> what, the what did they just inject in him? Nothing bad. I knew you ever played his hand, Don't asking too many questions about him in the row. You've been talking to anyone else about this? <laughs> Don't. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's good he sends them to Bobby and Bobby just kills everyone. Come on, his phone's there. Can you see that like, call Bobby Draper? Shoot him. <gasps> oh. Well, no, I think that's. <gasps> hey, Alex. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should be. You've got no chance against Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and now you can question her, right? Or did that just knock her out? Let's go prep this ship. All right, I'll meet you there. Okay, I've got to grab a few things just. Oh. <gasps> Power armor. Please tell me God, please God tell me she's getting her power armor and weapons and shit. But it is not enough to justify pursuing Marco. And this, it is to me. He asked me to be his exo. Oh no, don't blame yourself. Drummer, it's not your fault. I wanted to set my own path. You can't blame yourself, Drummer. Killed Marco killed Ashford, not you. I'm glad that Drummer's got like a family and a partner and stuff. Hopefully she can be happy with them. We found the Titan. Oh, is she the one about the asteroids? Maybe. Knew what Ashford found. Who's she sending this to? Oh, is that Fred? That's Fred Johnson. There we go. Why should I listen to you? Michael's too far in his head. I think. Don't. I don't think she's about to get to get through to him. At least not right now. I will send you all the money that you need, but please, just take it. Oh no. Oh no. Everything my father told me about you. No, no, it's not. Delta freighter out of series. The Zemir. It's still inbound. They think Monica stole like a thing. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then close the door so they can't leave. Yes. No, we'll Good. Better. I'll set up a party inside the container. Oh. And when they open the door, we'll take them and the ship. Okay. Let's make sure we no, he's there again. I feel like Michael sent him here to try and act. I don't think this is going to be genuine, what the Bruce says. Oh, you. Shit. What's going on? <gasps> Fuck you, Philip. Fuck you. So how can you watch that be done to your mother, Philip? You piece of shit. Please don't end with a crazy cliffhanger about the asteroids. Please, I can't. I'd have to watch the next one. Don't end with some crazy cliffhanger for the love of God. He was a slingshot pilot. The watchtowers isn't going to happen. No! It is my ass on the line. There's the whole fucking no, earth on the line. So a cushy retirement is more important than preventing an attack. I, I know. No, if it is. I know it's been a while since we spoke. Oh, husband. I just get him off earth. Oh, I feel so sorry for Avisarel right now. Oh. Who's calling it? Is it a husband or is it someone else? That's Fred Johnson. Shit, yes, okay. Let's get to work. You do know Marco, you're throwing rocks at Titan. Yes, this is just what she needs. This is the proof she needs, right? Tell me this is the proof she needs. Fuck, don't tell me it's too late. Shit. 
Oh my god. That one's, that one's literally about to hit. Fuck. That's the end. RIP, man. Uh, I want to watch the next one. Damn it, I really want to watch the next one. <sighs> I'm, right, I'm going to check, see if I've got anything I need to do, and then maybe I'm out of time to do it. Damn! Okay, I, that was the one thing I didn't want to happen, and there's some crazy, cliff, crazy cliffhanger that was going to really make me want to watch the next one, and it did, of course. It's this show, of course, it ends on a crazy cliffhanger. Okay, I'm probably going to have to watch the next one. Um, love the episode, though. Uh, I love like seeing Drummer find that sort shape and showing the message that he recorded. And then, she's got a family now, she's got a partner, and I'm, I'm happy for Drummer. She seems like they can make it happy. And she's sort of stepping away from the fight, which is probably what's best for her. And I also, I don't, like, she's a great fighter and she's a great tactician, obviously, but I don't think she's, a, I don't think she's necessary, like, they, I think they can still win without her, so, glad, you know, she can step back, have that time for herself, which will be good for her. Obviously, Fred Johnson and Holden have the plan for um, capturing the people who fought, they're going to kidnap Veronica, so we'll see how that goes down. I feel it, oh, man, I really don't like Philip, <laughs> but the casting's great, but just the character, I'm just, I'm like, doing that to his own mother. I know he's been brainwashed since his fa from his foot. I know he's been brainwashed by his father since she since he was a young child. But even still, even still doing that, I don't know. Uh, killing all the innocent people on that ship, it's going to take a lot to redeem him in my eyes. Which they might not do. They might just keep him a villain. But obviously, the main part of the episode is Alpha Sorala just working as hard as she can to like just get someone in in power to listen to her about these incoming asteroids. Which I mean. She did the best. They they had the chance to point the stealth tech detectors away from Mars and look for these asteroids. They had the chance and they missed it. Which yeah, I mean, I get why you want them to point at Mars, but like she said, like Mars doesn't care about Earth right now. Mars is like its own problems, its own issues. It's focused on other stuff right now. It, they don't care about Earth. And now these asteroids have gone past, and one, so what for sure, one hit caused massive devastation. Which it looked like it hit near New York City, maybe. I thought I thought that was like you know like the beach outside the yacht, but I might be wrong on that. It might have just hit somewhere on Earth. Either way, though, Earth seems pretty fucked. And the husband's down there. And she just tried to make amends. Oh, Arj Arjun is dying for sure. Like Christian just tried to make amends of Arjun, and I feel like they're gonna kill him off. I don't know. I'm probably gonna dive into the next one now. See what happens. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you later.